Hello everyone and welcome back to another mini tutorial session here on Ghost Paper. And for this video I actually want to show you how you can create a minimal color palette that uses a series of tones from the same color and two other complementary colors by using the Color Harmony tool as a helper. So if you're ever wondering how you can create some really cool illustrations with a minimal color palette, this is the video for you. And also if you need the Procreate file for this, the exercise file, so you can follow this step by step, the link will be on my Gumroad page, which is in the description box of this video. So the very first thing we're going to do here is to create a new layer. And now by using just a studio pen, just kind of like a simple pen with uh, just like a smaller kind of size, we're going to create a few squares. So that's going to be the first one. And I'm just going to drop this color right here. And now selecting the square, we're just going to make a copy and set it to the side. Now we're going to make another copy and we're going to set this at the bottom right here. And we're going to make about five copies of this square. But now the difference is, is that I really want to have these squares as close to each other as possible. So I'm just going to bring this a little bit closer, make another copy, and please at this point do not merge the layers as you go, just keep all of these squares separated. I'm going to make another copy, and one more. And just make sure 180, 60, 40, 20. So actually we will need, I believe, six copies and not five of the squares. So here we go. Now we have two squares here and about six squares here at the bottom. It is time now to create our color palette. So now we're going to go into the color menu here and we're going to be using in the color harmony section we're going to be using triadic. And now the reason why uh, you can't really see any colors here is because we have black selected. The moment that I click any colors, we see the, uh, the wheel of color is now showing all the hues and we see the color harmony happening as we see that we have the orange selected. We see the two other, um, two other colors equidistant to each other. That's what the triadic color mode does for us. So we're going to choose our main color and for our main color, I'm just going to be choosing this kind of a salmon tone right here. And that's going to be one of our main colors. So now with this color selected, I'm just going to go back into my layers, make sure, make sure that I have that little square selected. We're going to drop this color right here. We're going to go back into our color panel, select the second color, the green one, and now selecting the second square, I'm going to drop this one right here. I'm just realizing that my primary color is not actually the salmon but the green one because the circle is a little bigger but that doesn't matter this is still the selection that we want. So now before I click on the third color here this little purple color we're going to take care of our our bottom section. So let me make sure that I have that square selected we're going to go on to value and now we have to zero hue and zero saturation make sure our brightness is set to 100. Now we're going to drop that into this square, first square. Now let's select the second one. Going to the color and on the value mode, we're going on the brightness, we're going to type 80%. And now we're going to drop that onto the second square. Now let's select the third square, go back into the colors on the brightness section, we're going to put 60, drop that onto the square. We're going to uh, keep doing this, so select the next square, go into the colors, select now 40%, drop it down to the square, head up to the next one, and we're going to type now 20, 20% on brightness, drop that, and now we have a whole scale going from pure white all the way to pure black. So now what I want to do is I want to pinch and merge all of these layers so I'm going to click on the first layer and by having top and bottom selected I'm going to pinch with a gesture and select all of my squares. So now I do have to go back to my eyedropper and select the green which was in fact the primary one. We're going to go back into color harmony 
and now I can select my purple color, the third one. Now here back into the layers panel on the stripe of the gray values, I'm going to click on this layer and hit select. Now we're going to create a new layer, set this new layer at the bottom of the gray, the gray uh, hue stripe. And now I'm going to click on this layer and select fill. So now we have our purple color is actually here underneath, just so I can show you. We have filled up all of the gray stripes just underneath with our, with our third color. So now we're just gonna click on this layer with the gray hues. And for the blend mode, we're actually going to select overlay. So this is what's happening now. With overlay selected, we've actually, we, we are blending all of the brightness and darkness as well onto our base color and now we have created a series of tones for this third color. And what's even better is that because we have these two layers separated from each other, so we have the base purple separated from the, the tones of gray, which are now set as overlay, I can just go onto the purple layer, onto the adjustments menu, and select um, actually uh, hue and saturation. And I can swap the, I can change the hues and I'm actually changing the hues for all of these subtones. So with one command of hue saturation, I'm actually changing the color for all of my tones, which is much easier than going one by one and changing the hues if I wanted to. But we're not gonna be doing that right now because we do wanna use the power of the color harmony, which actually already paired, paired this color with the two other ones that we have here at the top. So now I'm just going to select all of our color palette layers and just scale them, just so it's a little easier to see. Set it here to the right. And now we're gonna start coloring our illustration. So I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit here. And first color I'm going to get, uh, maybe this second color from the left. We're going to create a new layer here, set it at the bottom. And one thing that we do need to do is to click on our line work, select our line work and click on reference. So we can use the power of the reference layer so that we can do color dragging onto these colors onto new layers. Otherwise, we would have to drop our colors on the same layer as the line work, which doesn't really help if you want to add some other shading, if you want to separate these colors. It's always better to work in a non-destructive way, which is something that I keep mentioning over and over on my videos, just because it's really, really helpful and important as you move on on your uh, freelance career, your professional career, on your career as an illustrator. So I'm just going to drop this color as the shirt and now create a new layer. We're going to select a bit of a darker tone and that's going to be color of the hair and the color of the pants. So now I'm going to uh, create a new layer once again and uh, actually, just before I create this new layer, I'm also going to use that same tone onto the letters, the TO. Now on our new layer, I'm going to select our green tone. And on this, oops, on this green tone, I'm going to drop that. Actually, I forgot that I have a few elements here, a few details, so I gotta put this at the top. I'm just going to put this on a few places. I'm um, just noticing that I have a bit of an unwanted element here, so I'm just going to delete this. Okay, go back into the detail layer. And we're also going to turn off our color palette because we don't really need it at the moment. We've already established a few of these colors. I'm just gonna drop it here and maybe here. Maybe I drop it at the body of the tower as well. All right, so I need my colors once again. So I'm just gonna turn on these layers. Now let's get a skin color for a character. Let's create a new layer and drop that in. All right. And another thing that I've that I'm doing here, not sure if you're able to um, to see this, and you're going to see even better once I drop now the background color, but it's the idea of using um, 
the tones of the purple as the majority of the tones in this illustration and leaving just the two other colors, the salmon and the green, as my accent colors. So now I'm just going to drop this background and as you can see, I'm going to turn off my uh, color palette. As you can see, we have a very dominant color here, which is the purple, but it acts really nicely with a few of the other accents of color. And that's a great way for you to actually use a minimal color palette just by creating different tones, applying that onto your illustration and using the other two colors from the triadic color harmony just as little accent colors. And finally, guys, you can actually also just uh, pinch if you want to all of those purples, go back into the adjustment, adjustments layer and onto the hue saturation. And once again, you can change, you can swing these colors in the same way that we were doing with, the, uh, with our color swatch, just finding new colors. But I'm just going to hit re reset and keep the colors from color harmony. So I believe that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, a like would be super appreciated, as well as make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any tips and tricks, reviews, and speed paint videos, and that is all for you to become a better digital illustrator. Now, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about how to create minimal color palettes and the power of the 60-30-10 technique, which is a really, really interesting technique on how to use color, Make sure to watch the video that is on the right side of the page right here, as it may be also a very helpful video for you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.